Hey Fire Fam! It is Ashley here at Fire Intuition. I am here to do a daily reading for you all. It is December the 8th, so this reading will be for today or whenever you guys hear this reading. Alright, um, very quick before we hop in guys, I want to say thank you, thank you, thank you from the bottom of my heart guys. You guys are amazing. I went to my P.O. box today and I literally cried when I got home. Because of all the love, the gifts, the gift cards, the thank you cards, the Christmas cards. Um, you guys just sending letters just, you know, telling me how I've helped you guys, how amazing I am and stuff like that. So, I want to say thank you. You guys are amazing. I sent all of you guys a gift. Well, I am not going to say I sent it yet. But I went and got some gift cards and stuff for you guys. So, I'm going to send them out today. You guys should be expecting them you know, in the next week or so, the address that was on the envelope, that's where I sent the gift card to, or will be sending the gift card to, because I'm going to do it first thing in the morning. But, um, I also wanted to give back to the people that purchased on my online shop, because you guys do so much for me. Like, every time you guys make a purchase, I have, a, like, a lot of you guys that no matter what box I sell, no matter what I release, like, you guys... Are like buying all my shit and I love it like I have some of you guys that every month you're buying a box like your name is constantly coming up every time I'm doing an order boom 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 and I'm like dang like I love it I just I love the love so for the December box I decided to switch it up and do something different since you guys you know gave me um, and showed me all that love or just giving show me so much love and when I went to my PO box earlier I decided to get some gift cards and also give away some free readings. So if you guys have purchased the December box, um, not everyone is going to win, but I did get like a lot of gift cards. I even got more than these, okay? Um, like look at all these gift cards I went and bought from the store, okay? And I got my receipt too, because I don't want y'all to be in the comments like, uh-uh, those are the ones people gave you. No, it's not. All right, so I have like a lot of them. I even put like, I ordered from Saks and I got like a $50 Saks card. So I even put that in there. I have a Nike card, Grubhub, Home Goods, Panera Bread, Macy's, another Nike, Abercrombie, Pink, Target, Victoria's Secrets, Bath and Body Works, and then the rest I'm going to do in free readings. I think I'm going to give away like five, you know, probably even 10 free readings. I don't know. All right, I even went and got these cute ass little green stockings. They were just cheap, like a dollar, but I thought they were cute to, you know, put the gift card in. That's how that Nike one is um, loose. Where's my Nike one at? That's how the Nike one is loose because I figured it would fit. Will it fit? Let's see. Oh, it's got the little thing on there, so I can't put it in there. But, yes, it will fit. So, um, every box is not going to get one. I'm going to randomly, you know, put it in the boxes. I'm not going to pick and choose. This is going to be random. I actually might let the boys do it, you know, before I seal it up and put the little gift on top, you know. So, I might give away, like, one question readings, five question readings, or any reading of, the, of your choice. The gift cards I got from 10 all the way up to 50 so that's my way of giving back to you guys for the online shop and like I said those of you that sent me gift cards I either sent you guys like my store gift card or a gift card that I purchased you know for you guys all right to so enjoy lunch or to go get something you know um so this is the December box this is what it looks like this is how it's going to come packed and then you guys get a stocking full of a lot of fire and tuition goodies all right so um yeah, I'm ready to hop in. And if you're going to be a smart ass and say, oh, I talk too much. Why are you telling me this? I just want to hear the reading. You guys can click the fuck off because somebody sent me a long ass email telling me that I should just hop into the reading and do this and that. Like, first of all, you're on my channel. Please don't disrespect me and please don't timestamp. If you don't like what I'm hearing, if you think my intro is too long, there is a lot of readers on YouTube that maybe just jump straight into the reading and can give you the message right away or tell you what it is you want to hear right away all right so do have respect for me and my channel because i don't disrespect you guys so please give me that same energy all right not ranting not bitching just saying all right all right so now we can hop into this reading and see what's going on with you guys it better be good y'all because i haven't been here in a couple days so i want to see what the energy is like all right, so, um, yeah, let's hop in. Let's look at general first a little bit, and then we're going to go into the love portion. All right, so let's see. General and then love. All right, guys, let's see. Messages for the collective. Messages for the collective. What's going on around the collective? What's going on around the collective? What's going on around the collective right now? 
We have the Seven of Wands challenges. For some of you guys, you're feeling like you need to defend yourself. You feel like you need to stand your ground. Some of you guys can be fighting some type of battle. It could have to do with something financially with the Seven of Pentacles too. And it has to do with the home situation. But I feel like whatever it is you're battling or fighting, you're going to get your Ten of Cups out of it. Okay? I feel like it's something that may be heavy, but not so much. But it could just be something as little as like, if this is your home, you're just like, okay, well, I'm tired of cleaning. I'm tired of doing this. I'm tired of, you know, like telling people what to do. I'm tired of like, you know, like, why are you doing this? Why, are, why is the kitchen dirty? It can be anything because I see the four of wands home, you know, so it's something that you have invested in, seven of pentacles. It can be your online business or a business that you run from home. You're just like, you know what? Like, I put a lot of love. I put a lot of uh, money and time into my business. You know, like, when am I going to you know, get, you know, rewarded, like, you could feel like with the seven of wands, there's this, like, a lot of, like, I wouldn't say competition, but I will say that because I see the five of wands, so you may feel like there's a lot of competition, you may feel like, um, you're always having to, like, I wouldn't say, I'm not gonna say give in, but I feel like what I'm getting here is, like, okay, so, I'm getting, like, a, not a repetitive energy, but for some of you guys, it's kind of like you feel like you have to like give in when you don't. And I feel like for a lot of readers or like YouTubers or people that watch my channel or people that have businesses, I feel like you guys may battle with like prices or personal readings and is this a fair amount? Should I do this? Should I charge more? Should I charge less? You know, um, if I charge less, is it going to bring me you know, more clientele. They're going to bring me more business. But then it's like, you get the Ten of Cups out of it, but then it's like, you feel challenged by what it is you may have offered or done or what you're giving away, okay? So it might leave you just kind of like defensive, needing to stand your ground, overwhelmed, you know, feeling like um, you're always fighting for like what you have or the things that you have. So it's kind of like, it's hard for me to explain it. So... I'm trying to give a good example. So, like, for some of you guys with the Ten of Cups, you could be doing really good, you know, with the Ten of Cups. And people might be like, okay, so I made a post, like, last week, and I was like, I said never, um, what was my post last week? So, I'm going to say it the right way. Um, what did I say? Yeah. Hope y'all can get in there really quick. Because I'm going to be honest, I sometimes feel like this, but I don't let it bother me anymore. Because I know what I, you know, do to get where I'm at. But I put on my post, never let someone must be nice to you into feeling ashamed of what you have worked hard for. You deserve it. So what I'm getting here is like a lot of you guys do have the Ten of Cups or you're going towards your Ten of Cups because yes, you deserve it. But it's like with this energy here, it's like you feel like our, okay, so say if somebody's coming at you and they're like, oh, it must be nice or you know, like, oh, life is great for you. I see you living your best life. And it's like, you guys may be defensive. Like, what the fuck? Like, you don't know what I had to do to get here. Like, all this didn't come overnight. But it's like the universe is telling you, like, stop defending yourself. Stop saying stuff. You know, like, don't even give them attitude or let them get to you. Don't let them bother you. Because that is just another blockage. That's just another hater. And you know, they say, if you don't have haters, you ain't popping. You know, so that's just another blockage, another hater. You know, just move forward. It's like the problem and the issue is that these people are trying to be like you and think like you, but instead they're creating blockages for you without you realizing it because you're stepping into their energy and giving them the energy that they want from you, which is not worth it. Now, another way I'm also seeing this with the general energy for some of you guys is that some of you guys do feel like things have been a challenge or been, comp or been competitive or you feel like you have to compete and you feel like, okay, like I'm putting all this money and energy into things and um, lowering prices or raising prices or doing this, you know, to get the sales that I want. But it's like, even though with the Ten of Cups, you're getting what you want, you're still feeling challenged behind it. It is taking care of home, all right? You are advancing and growing, the Seven of Pentacles. Um, it's something that didn't happen overnight. But it's kind of like you got to pick and choose your, like, you got to pick and choose, okay? Because some of you guys have put yourself in a challenge position that you don't have to be in. So another good example is I'm just going to speak from a reader standpoint, okay? Um, and I'm even use myself as, a, as an example. Now, I love doing personal readings. I love doing them. That's, like, that's my thing. I love it. That's why I haven't stopped doing the personal readings. But back when I first started and even when I first moved to Texas, I would always do like personal reading specials because I would read the comments 
and I would like you know um do the readings and I'm like dang I feel so bad like I want to really help the collective I want to help you guys I want to you know like let me just do a reading special let me do case of the x $20 or let me do today 10 10 dollar questions or whatever but then it's like I would do it and I'll get like 100 appointments in and then I'm making the money 10 of cups you know it's slowly building up home is taking care of I'm happy I feel content I also feel like yes I'm helping the collective I'm two I'm two things killing two birds in one stone I'm helping the collective and I'm making money but then I feel challenged and, and overwhelmed and my energy is very heavy and I'm drained. And then I'm getting behind. And then I'm feeling like, damn, like I didn't think it through. Like, why did I do that? I should have put, put a limit on it. Why didn't I just say like, okay, $25 to the first 10 people rather than $25 and 100 people book. And to me, when it comes to readings, I don't care what nobody says. This is just my personal opinion. There's no amount of money you can pay for somebody's energy. Okay, so when I say that, I'm saying because some people may be like, oh, this reader charges too much or this this reader is cheap or whatever. That's fine. Some people, I don't, I have no opinion when it comes to people's prices. Okay, I never will never have because you never know what somebody is going through and their energy, their time and the effort that they're putting into doing something for you. So when it comes to prices and stuff, I have no opinion on that. But I will say that when it comes to me, in my opinion... And how I feel when it comes to like personal readings, there's no amount of money somebody can pay for your energy and time. Because there has been readings that I've done and it has, it's crazy. I'll do a reading and I'm a sage in my whole fucking house. I'm opening up all the windows. I'm going to take a shower. I got to go take a run. I just feel crazy. I'm calling my spiritual coach. I'm getting Reiki because the energy is so heavy. Sometimes I look at readings and appointments and I feel the heavy energy and I have to like, apologize and be like i'm sorry i would love to read for you but i can't and i will explain to them why because i can see if i can feel the heaviness before i tap in then i know once i fully tap in it's going to be very heavy on me so i have to think about myself my body my health and my mental state of mind okay and who i let into my energy so that's why i say that but i just wanted to use a reader or just use tarot as an example because that's just what i do but for some of you guys, it can be anything as to like massage therapy. It can be um, counseling, whatever it is. Whatever you're doing, I'm hearing raise the price or know your worth. So if you're doing something that's by the hour, if you're like a massage therapist, I don't, I don't know why I keep hearing massage and something mentally. So it's like you may be doing it and you love the work, but it, shit, your hands might be tired from doing deep tissue massages all day. And you're charging $50. But you know, if you charge $50, you're going to get more clients than if you charge $75. But the way I look at it is if somebody loves you and loves your work and they fuck with you, regardless if you pay $50 or $75, they are still going to rock with you, come to you, see you, get your massage or whatever. So in the general energy, what I'm really getting is that you guys are really needing to put yourself first. Yeah, you're getting your 10 of cups. It's different ways you guys are getting it. But don't let your 10 of cups challenge how you get it. And stop trying to defend yourself and prove yourself and prove a point. Because why you already have the Ten of Cups. You're flourishing. You're growing. You're blossoming. A lot of people want to be like you. They want to think like you. They want what you want. And you have it. So continue to show gratitude and be happy and be blessed. And not let the outside influences or these negative energies or these evil eyes affect you and what you have coming in for you. Don't ever let them stop or block your abundance, all right? So let's pull one more card on this five of wands. I don't even think I need to even pull oracles on here so I feel like it's clear as day. Um, so let's see. We have, yeah, look, the ten of pentacles and the devil. You guys got somebody that is really hating. Y'all have a hater, like there's like, who it could be a Capricorn, I'm not saying it is. It could be any sign, but somebody is really hating on your success and your relationship. So not only do you have the money in the relationship, they're hating on, like, everything that's going on in your life. You have the Ten of Cups, Ten of Pentacles. And for some of you guys, it's not even, like, a relationship or a partnership you're in. They just are jealous because they see that you are wifey or hubby material. They know that once you meet the person or meet that one or meet the one, it's over. It's a wrap. Like, they know, like, you're going to have even more. So they don't like that. So y'all have a big-time hater, like, somebody that's hating so bad. Somebody is shadowing you guys, too. Somebody sees your work or sees what you do and they're trying to be just like you. Somebody is copycatting and they're trying to figure out how you got it or where you get it from. 
or like, how did you get this Ten of Pentacles? How did you go from the Seven to the Ten of Pentacles? Somebody's also trying to figure out how you got the Seven to the Ten of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups. And I feel like it's somebody close to you guys. Could even be a family member with the Devil and the Ten of Pentacles. I feel like it's somebody that knows your business too. Stop telling people all your business with this Devil here. All right, because they're like you guys have a huge like a hater. And they're sending you the evil eye. Look, they're even lighting candles on your ass and everything. Look, there's a candle lit. See? And there's a fly right there. Oh, wow. So if you guys have had flies in your house, gnats are like... Um, if you guys keep seeing flies or something like that, that is a sign. Okay? I was always told, like, you know... Flies, that means somebody's talking shit. That means somebody's being nosy, snooping, you know, stuff like that. But there's a fly here and there's a candle. Somebody is lighting a candle. I... Guys, go get a wall of, um, a wall of fire. Get a wall of fire oil or a wall of fire candle. Like ASAP for some of you guys to block them out. To like get rid of their negative energy. Because somebody is. Somebody's lighting candles and stuff like that. Somebody just doesn't like the fact that you're the empress. Somebody is hating on you. All right? And they they, they want to see you down and out. They want to see you relationshipless. They want to see you moneyless. They want to see, like, you struggling. But the thing is, for some of you guys, they're probably in that energy and just probably hating. Or, like I said, somebody wants your lifestyle. Somebody wants to be like you. Somebody wants what you have. All right? I do see engagement coming in for you guys soon, too, with this empress here. Somebody loves lotus flowers or has a lotus flower tattoo. Somebody can have a heart tattoo on their chest because she has a heart and a cross on her chest. Um, someone's favorite color is blue or yellow. Or like somebody has canary yellow around them. Look, we have the death card. See, they want to see shit in for you. Wow. But and your intuition is trying to tell you. Your intuition is trying to tell you that somebody around you ain't shit. Somebody around you is no good for you. Trust it. See, look, the tower. It's all about to come out, though, with the tower. And look, wow. Love it. You want to know what? I love this because whoever this is, they want to see you fail. They don't want to see you on top. They're doing work against you, but you're stronger than that. You're protected. And... The tower here is like you might go through something. Things might be slow. You might have to defend yourself. But guess what? With the Wheel of Fortune, you're still going to move on, babe. You are still going to move on. And you're going to be fortunate and blessed. And your blessings are not going to stop. The sun is here. You are protected. You are loved. You are healing. You are growing. The Knight of Cups, more and more opportunities are coming in. So you're still you're steadily going towards your dreams and your goals. Look, temperance is here, three of wands and the star. A lot of you guys are being patient. A lot of you guys feel this energy, but you're also being patient. And things are working behind the scenes and your ships are coming in and all your wishes and everything are coming true. By February, y'all are going to be living, doing everything good. Wishes coming through, true out of nowhere. Abundance out of nowhere. Okay? Like, literally. You go get a scratch off, you're winning. I don't care if it's $20, $50, you're winning. You check in your account, there's more money. You know, people around you may be trying to gift you, give you more money, help you out, do stuff. But you guys have a hater. Like, somebody is hating on you so bad. They want to be you so bad. It's ridiculous. Like, they're lighting candles and staring at them bitches like, oh, fuck with them. Do this, do that. Like, somebody is into candle magic, too. Somebody is working, like, overnight. They're not even getting sleep because they're trying, they're worried about you. Eyes all baggy, saggy. Dark eyes, like it's like, if you, like that's crazy to me that somebody has that much time and energy to do that to somebody. But all they, they don't realize is that they're stopping and blocking their blessings. You're gonna continue to get blessed, but you do feel the energy, or you do feel this shift, or you do feel like somebody is holding you back, or multiple people. I'm also hearing 14. I don't know why. Maybe you guys got 14 cords that need to be cut. Maybe you guys need to go get an aura cleanse, a, a Reiki cleanse. Y'all need to go get your a cord cutting or something like that. Y'all got a lot of negative energies. I feel like for some of you guys, you got energies that you're holding on to from the past. Like that you need a core cut from past friendships, past relationships, relationships with family members. There's a lot of people around you guys that you need to cut the cord to. All right. So let's see. We have, um, 
All right, so for some of you guys, I don't feel like this has to do with this general reading, but these are angel cards, and I have twin flame, and it says, your partner is your twin flame who is here to help you grow spiritually. So for some of you guys that are in relationships or in some type of partnership, that person is your twin flame, and they're here to help you grow spiritually, and this may be something that you're going through spiritually right now, okay? And they may be like your only support, the person that is always there for you, you know, clapping you on, stuff like that. Now, if you're around somebody and they're negative, they're distant, they're antisocial, they don't want to help you, they're talking shit, then that's probably, that angel message is probably not the message for you, all right? But some of you guys have a twin flame around you. I feel like you don't know this person is your twin flame. Now, if you are around this person and you don't feel like it's your twin flame, I feel like it is. Why am I saying that? Because whoever this person is, I don't feel like it's like where you're this, I don't feel like you guys are going through stuff right now. Or, like, I don't feel like you and this twin flame are, like, on that runner chaser shit. I don't feel like that. I feel like you guys are in a, either a different phase, you know, in your twin flame journey or something like that. I don't feel like it's very heavy or very toxic. I don't get that. I don't get that they're distant. I don't get this person is not dealing with you or not talking to you. I don't feel like this person is in separation from you. I feel like this person is around you. And I feel like you're going to eventually see or feel or know that this is a twin flame connection. Because I feel like somebody that you're attached to. You think is your twin flame and or not because I have got disconnect at the bottom um, before I shuffle the cards and we have coming soon. Yeah, your divine partner is on the way, on their way to you and you will meet them soon. For some of you guys, you're going to meet them soon. So you haven't even met them and they're going to be your twin flame and you're going to know there's going to be a sign. Look for patterns that will show you what you need to do right. So for some of you guys, what you need to do right now is heal. Okay, because we have the healing card. This relationship is about healing emotionally, emotional wounds from your past. So whoever this new person is, they're coming in with gifts of love. All right? And they are going to be an inspiration to your life. Look. And look. Wow, look. And then we have the one. So you know how normally when I, like when we do our readings and stuff, or normally like you guys will be the one that inspires someone and their life is totally changed because of you and stuff like that is going to be the other way around. Not saying that you are not going to inspire this person or make this person better, but they're going to come in giving you love. They're going to be inspiring you, helping you heal. They're going to be the one that is motivating you, that is proud of you, that compliments you, that gives you everything that you want and need. Like far as like your physical needs, your emotional needs, the way they talk to you, the way they handle things. I feel like this person is not going to be feminine, but very understanding and emotional and very loving. So they're going to be coming from like a loving place. So it says, your angels are now giving you divine guidance to help you find your true love. See, and this person is coming with the gifts of love. Recognize the angels in your life who are bringing your love and blessing. So think about the people that's in your life. For some of you guys, I feel like you guys either reconnected or you're talking to somebody and that is the end of that cycle. You may have thought there was true love or something there and that needed to end or you needed to see that person, that relationship or that situation from a different perspective to see and understand or realize maybe it's not true love, but you are attracting the one, okay? So it says, this partner may be the one you have been looking for. So give it a fair chance. So I feel like we give it a fair chance and security. Let's see what's in the middle. Harmony. And then we have release. Wow. So what did I tell you guys about releasing somebody? This partnership will, will bring peace and harmony to your life and it will allow it. And then it says, it's time to let go of a past relationship so you can welcome your heart with true love. Okay? With the release card. So what did I just tell you guys? There's going to be pleasure, there's going to be knowledge, and there's going to be commitment. Meaning that this person's going to be smart, you guys are going to be able to talk, you guys are going to be able to hold a conversation. Um, there is going to be commitment in this relationship. Look, and I love with the knowledge card, look, you have more to learn about yourself and others before you commit. So for some of you guys, you may be ready to commit or you think you're ready to commit, but this person is going to bring about knowledge to your life. And I don't feel like the relationship, that's going to be a problem, but I feel like they're going to make you see and understand, like, dang, like, I really wasn't ready. Or, like, dang, committing is is really a challenge. It's, it's not something that is easy. You know, like, maybe you might be like, dang, marriage isn't so easy. Maybe you wanted to run off and just get married. Or maybe you were like, oh, before I turn 35, 36, I want to get married. And now you're seeing, like, you know what, if it's true love, I can be patient and understanding. And when the timing is right, it's going to happen for me. Is what I'm also getting, guys. All right? So, very deep message. But I, this hater, whoever this is, like, guys, tell them to kick rocks in their socks, like, for real. Because we don't have time for that, okay? Send them on, okay? Get their asses a bottle of water on some goldfish and tell them to get on. Because we don't have time, okay? We don't have time for that shit. Like, that is crazy. It's about to be the end of the year. 
And I mean, I get it. Like, jealousy, hate, envy, it's a thing. You know, we've all been there, done that, or experienced that, or have done that. But it's just like, why, though? And it's, like, crazy because people don't understand. I realize, like, when they hate or send negative energy or do stuff to people, it may stop or block them for a while. But all they're doing is, is blessing you guys even more. All they're doing is sending and giving you more blessings by their hate because they're in a low vibrational energy. Look, you're going to get justice. Look, and a new beginning. Look, and many options and choices. Okay? You guys may be down for a while with the four of swords, but look, you're crawling in love and money. Okay? But look, the seven of wands is here. Stop fighting. Stop defending yourself. Stop, stop trying to prove a point. All right? We have the four of wands. We have the ten of wands. You're draining yourself. You're stressing yourself out within your environment. And you're stressing yourself out and you have everything you need. But what you're stressing yourself out about is other people's problems, other people's energy, other people's hate towards you. This true love is coming in in about nine weeks, guys. Remember I kept telling you February, you guys are meeting somebody within nine weeks. Within nine weeks. I love it. Let's, let's clarify this energy. Nine of cups with the two of cups. You guys are meeting this person within like nine weeks. I should do the calling in the one webinar again. Remember I told you guys when I did the calling in the one webinar, I met my person 88 days after. All right, I did the practices. I did all the work. I know some of you guys didn't. Some of you guys emailed me or texted me. It was like, I give up. But I was very consistent. And even if I didn't do like one exercise or practice that night, I, I did, did it the next day or when I remembered or I went back or like what I would do is like if I missed more than one day, I would go back and restart the week over. You know, stuff like that. But I did the work. And also it helped me with my father healing. Um, and it just helped me release a lot of things. Now, it's interesting that my partner is here. And then it's like, I feel some type of way about my father. But how I feel about my father has nothing to do, I feel like, with my boyfriend or my relationship. But it's like interesting, like, how... Because um, I can't really say I had... Like, it's weird. Like, I can't really say that I had... Okay, so I did the work when it came to my dad, but it was kind of like my dad wasn't in my life for so long. So it's like I healed and it didn't bother me. But then it's like now that like I'm trying to like build that relationship, it just seems like at times it could be triggering, but it's not. I don't know. It's weird. It's hard to explain y'all. But I don't know. I guess as I, I'm going to take a deeper look into it and I'll, I'll update y'all on that later. I will because I just I don't know I just feel like when some people when people want you to accept I wouldn't say like his guilt and like you know like him feeling bad it's just like I don't know like it's like my I feel like when it comes to my dad it's like he wants like me to forgive him but then I feel like he keeps doing the same things that he wants me to forgive him for. So it's like how I feel is like I've already forgiven you. But like don't don't open up that door or don't don't do the same shit that I forgave you for because there's no forgiving you again and again and again. But I do have a forgiving heart. So that's why I said that. But it ain't about me, y'all. It's about y'all. So let's go into this nine of cups and this two of cups. But I just wanted to share that with you guys because that was my biggest challenge when I did the calling in the one webinar. That was like my biggest thing. Okay. And I feel like certain things he did. I I actually like seen how that had became like. I wouldn't say a pattern. But I seen how that was with certain people I dated. Or certain things that he did. That I that I didn't really pay attention or notice. In my past relationships that are different from my current relationship. So that's why I shared it. But let's see. Nine of cups to the two of cups. And you guys know I share a lot of things with you guys. You guys know I'm like an open book. So if you guys ever ask me something or ask me to share something, y'all know I'm going to be honest and tell y'all. Um, so let's see. Why is this nine of cups here with the two of cups? Angels, why is this nine of cups here with the two of cups? Wow. It's your soulmate. Hey. It's your soulmate. Your partner is a soulmate who will help you open your heart fully to love. So, yes, so I love it. So, some of you guys, it's going to be a twin flame. Some of you guys, it's going to be a soulmate that you guys meet. But within the, nine, within the next nine weeks, you guys are meeting this person, all right? And I feel like within the nine weeks, it's like you guys are going to be doing a lot of, like, healing or releasing and letting go. And it is bringing in true love with the King of Cups. 
we have distance. You and your partner may spend some time apart or be emotionally unavailable. So I feel like you and this person have not met. For some of you guys, you have not met this person. So this is not somebody that you're reconnecting with, reconciling with. This ain't a blast from the past. This ain't somebody that you love back in high school or the, the kid's dad or the mother of your child. No, there's distance here. Like, meaning like to me, what I'm getting is that you guys have not met this person. Okay? Now... You got it could be for some of you guys, but what I'm getting and what I'm feeling is no. I'm getting no. Some of you guys are gonna meet this person, they're gonna have on a white shirt. Somebody's gonna have on a white shirt, and I'm hearing a white so white shirt and a white sneaker. Um, somebody has yeah, somebody's gonna have on a white shirt and a white sneaker. And for some of you guys, they're gonna wear they're they're gonna have a pair of glasses that you don't like. They're not gonna be prescription, they're gonna be like sunglasses. You don't like them. That's what I'm channeling. This person is gonna be slim. Are you're slim? One of you guys are slim because I'm hearing slim, slim good. So somebody's gonna be like a slim goodie. All right, let me see. All right, let's see what this is about. All right, give me one more card. Okay. Now it's interesting. Now we have reunion and we have promise. So it says you will get back together after time apart or after a breakup. This relationship shows a lot of potential if you are willing to put in the work. And I feel like that's you. But I feel like this person is just being childish and they want to keep you guessing because we have expectations. Okay. And it says unrealistic expectations are keeping you from meeting your life partner. Now, what I'm getting with this is that what you guys want in a person or what you're hoping for in a person is not with them. It's going to be with whoever this true love is coming in. Okay. And this person was preparing you for this true love or whoever this person is that's coming in. Now, I do see where there is going to be a reunion and somebody is going to promise to change or they're going to promise you that things are going to be better. And I feel like that's going to happen for a little while, but then I think things are going to go back to how they were or something's going to change your mind and you're going to be like, you know what? Like, it's just not adding up. Like, you're not what I wanted. You're not what I thought I wanted anymore. And I feel like that's going to come to an ending. Yep, look, see, ten of swords, three of swords. It's going to hurt, but you know it's going to be the best thing for you. For some of you guys, look, see, to, to a sword, you were stuck at a crossroads for a while, okay? You were stuck on this person, on this situation, or just dealing with this situation for a long time. So, I feel like this is a love portion, even though I didn't pull cards for love. But I feel like you guys are going to be stuck or feel stuck for a long time. Um, or worth feeling stuck for a long time. Yep, five of pentacles. You feel hurt. And I feel like every time you try to give in to this person, they're putting other people before you. They're not really making you a priority. The five of pentacles, you're like, I'm tired of having your back. I'm being there. You don't have my back. You don't understand me. Consider my feelings, how I feel about the situation. So I feel like whoever this is, it's like you see that something has time, has come to an ending or a completion with the Ten of Swords. You see something has ran its course. But it's like this person wants to keep you guessing and they want to keep making promises that they're not going to keep. I also feel like this person is going to come back trying to chase you. But it's like once they chase you and get this chase, you know, like because I feel like they like a chase. Or like once they chase you, it's like once you give in, it's just going to go back to how things were before. You know? So let's see. Messages for the collective on this relationship thing. We have... Become a shape shifter. Yep. Look. Wow. It's time for you to shift your energy. And then look what we have. Let go of the uh, let go of the old. Remember, I told you guys. If I see this at the bottom of the deck one more time, I was gonna throw the deck. So I'm not gonna do it. But this keeps coming up every time I use this deck. Look. Let go of the old. And then we have wash away your burdens. So I feel like this is the burdens that you're carrying from this past relationship. We have two tens and the three of swords. How much more could your heart take? How much more pain could you take? How much more will you allow? How much more will you accept? Before you're just like, no, nope, I'm not going to do it anymore. I know it's not for me anymore. That's what I'm getting here. So let's pull a couple cards on love. Even though I thought this was love. All right, we can pull a couple more cards. And then that will be the reading, guys. And I'll be out. Um, We have the full when it comes to love. We have the strength card. Yes. Pulling it together, ready for a new beginning. You know that the old must die in order for the new to come in. Like the old must, you know, come to an ending for a new to come in. Three, look, three major arcanas. 
the full the shame card, the death card. Love it. Five of Pentacles. So some type of I mean, the Three of Pentacles, some type of new beginning with commitment, some type of new beginning where there's some type of building, the strength card, the higher font. If you're already in a relationship or commitment, it's going to deepen. So out with the old, in with the new, but it's going towards something better, something stronger, a uh, stronger relationship, uh, but even also commitment. Let's see. And we have the Five of Cups. So if there was some sadness, some hurt, some pain, some regret in a relationship or if you felt some type of way or holding on to like emotions, feelings or repressing your emotion or suppressing your emotions and feelings, that's coming to an ending. We have judgment here. Somebody's calling judgment on a situation for bonds. So I also feel like somebody sees and knows that they have hurt you or caused you pain. And it's like all together they want to make it better. So you guys do have somebody that is going through a transformation or some type of transition or some type of change. Um, they're going through like a death of an ego. They're just maybe going through some type of, you know, um, something is ending or shifting in their life. All this major can of look. One, two, three, four. Is it six? One, two, three, four, five. Five. All right. So somebody is definitely going through something in there. Now they're ready to be more serious. I'm hearing 33. I'm hearing 37. I'm hearing 41. I'm hearing 29. I'm hearing 17. I don't know what that is. And if you're 17 and you're going through this, then that is a lot. All right. Because at 17, you should be looking fine, looking good, doing you, graduating high school, getting ready for college, being cute in your little car, hanging with your friends. You know, and all that. Just being 17, being cute. All right? So, no offense. But if you're 17 and going through all this, then this is probably a wake-up call for you guys. All right? Um, but there, I know there's no age on feelings and how you feel for somebody and you love somebody. But at 17, oh, true. I was with my high school sweetheart. But I was being 17. Like, we were being, we were being 17. Like, we were, you know, enjoying ourselves. Like, this right here, no. But um, but I only said that because I heard the, the number 17. So I don't know. Maybe it's been 17 days, 17 weeks, 17 months, 17 years. I don't know. But 17 years is a long ass time for somebody to get them get themselves together. Um, but let's see. Why is this fool here? We have a higher font. Oh wow. Aries energy coming in very strong with the fool, because the fool can be Aries or Aquarius. So, yeah, you guys are going towards some type of commitment. Remember, I told you guys you're meeting the one. Look, wow, Queen of Pentacles. Love it. So the Queen of Pentacles and the Empress, someone does see you as like their wife, their future wife. They see you as somebody stable. They see you as a good mother. They see that you take care of home. Like they see that you're good with your money. Your credit's looking good. Stuff like that. Some of you guys show up very masculine in your relationship, um, even though the Queen of Pentacles is here. So it's like the, the Emperor could be somebody that with the Queen of Pentacles, like, oh, I pay my own bills. You know, I can, I can buy the table. I can hold my own weight. I can do this. I can do that. So it's kind of like in this new beginning, if that's what you're going through now, you're not going to have to do that as much. Because I see a lot of security and stability and somebody coming in that's more stable, somebody that's going to help you. So it's like you don't have to hold the weight. You don't have to do everything anymore. Right? You might wake up. It might be some hundreds or some money on the side of the table, the nightstand. Or they might be like, babe, I got it this month. I got this. I got that. Or let me treat you or do something like that. So I see something more like where there's more security, more stability. All right? Um, the Hermit to reverse Virgo energy. So a lot of you guys are just ready for the new. Um, a lot of you guys with the strength cards, even though there was a deep connection or you felt connected to that person, you see that it was holding you back and you're just ready to go towards new love. With the Hermit in reverse, yeah, the tower. You're just letting out all those emotions and feelings. And it's like as you're releasing and letting it out, you're becoming stronger. Okay? I thought like it was one hell of a situation you went through, but it made you a better person. It made you stronger. And I feel like you do miss this person. I feel like you are nostalgic. I feel like you do care about this person still. Some of you guys can have a child with this person. Now, for Christmas or around Christmas, or if you have children, this year somebody is going to buy gifts or do something, or somebody is going to try to do something to get your attention, or um, somebody is going to try to, like, give in, like, go halfway, meet you halfway. So if there's something that the kids want, it might be, like, expensive or something, and they're like, okay, I'm going to meet you halfway, you know, something like that, the Six of Pentacles, Eight of Swords. Somebody has a lot on their mind. Somebody may be behind on child support or stuck trying to figure out how they're going to do everything financially. It's not you. I feel like it's somebody around you guys, okay? And I feel like that's also what you're tired of. You just want something better, more stable, more secure, all right? And we have the star. So a lot of healing. I feel like some of you guys are finally, like, free. Like, you feel happy. You feel free. You're like, dang, I'm just out of that situation. But let's see how the death card is here. We got the four of cups and we have the knight of pentacles. This person feels rejected by you. But I feel like that was also like the wake up call for them too. 
because they realize that they had to change. Somebody slowly getting it back together or slowly getting it together, they're going to slowly make their way back to you. But I don't know, guys. So we have a night and we have the emperor. I feel like by the time this person makes their way back to you, you're going to be already moved on. Yeah, because look, this, oh yeah, look. This emperor is going to come rushing in with the ace of wands reverse. You're not going to have no more, like, you are you don't want a new beginning. You don't want a new start. Your energy is going to shift and change. Yeah, because look, you're going towards a new relationship, a new commitment. Yep, see, you were stressing out about that for some of you guys. That's what I feel like you guys are worried about. For some of you guys, I feel like you kind of fear letting go or moving on because you fear, like, being alone or just not being with somebody. But it's all right to be alone. Shoot. I, shoot. Trust me, it is. You know, everybody needs their time and their space. But when you're alone, that's, like, the best because that's, like, when you heal. Like, I feel like when you're alone, I feel like it's better because, like, you, like, you really take that time to heal and understand yourself. All right? There's going to be some good communication coming in from somebody. Somebody also could be getting out by Christmas time. Yeah, something I was stressing you out that had to do with money. The seven one. Somebody's fighting. Somebody's lawyer is going to fight for them to get out. Are you paid a lawyer? Why was Empress here? Nine of Pentacles. San France. Some of you guys are single and want a baby, but it's saying to be patient. You guys have your life together. You have your money together. You're single, single, but you want to be married or, or you want like a baby. And they're telling you to be patient. You're going to have a baby with this person that's coming in with the emperor. All right. Or they're going to accept you and your children or something like that. But somebody wants to have a baby. I want a baby so bad. I'm going to adopt a girl, y'all. Five of Pentacles in reverse and the Three of Swords in reverse. See, this is you opening up your heart and things changing and working out for you. When it comes to your love life. But it's all going to be because you let something in. And once you do that, you're going to bring in the king of pentacles. All right. Some of you guys are having a hard time accepting that something isn't working out. We have we have all these teens here. Definitely an ending for some of you guys. But you're going towards so much better. But I feel like it's going to take, like you guys just got to see and realize that though. All right. Now, like I said, for some of you guys, it could be that you're going to go through like, you're going through this right now and your relationship is going to change and be better. But for others of you, you're just going towards something better. And it's like sometimes it's like let the better come in. Like let the better come in. Got the higher font reverse. Yeah, look. It's like I'm not going to say you guys are forcing it. But like don't force a situation that is just not happening. You can't force somebody to be with you. You can't force somebody to commit to you. You can't force somebody to marry you. You can't force somebody to stop cheating and lying and doing dumb stuff. Like, stop trying to force a situation and let the new love come in. Yeah, let the new love come in. Look, Queen of Wands with the with the Knight of Cups. You know how many people are staring at you that like you, that think you're attractive, that are attracted to you? Yes, look, that will bring you look, stability, a commitment. Where you guys will have a better connection, okay? And I feel like you guys know they're coming in. But it's like, it's just something about this past person. There's something about the past that you have to let go of. All right? Look, there's a good time. You guys can have fun. But the way they show and express love or the way you see them is not giving love or showing or expressing love at this time. Or some of you guys are just heartbroken. You're like, okay, you want to chill and hang out and do this and that. But you can't never show and give me love or express love to me. But yet you want to hang around me and chill. And, and like, for some of you guys, like, like, all that chilling shit all the time, like, we're too old for that. Like, Let's travel. Let's build. Let's own businesses. Like, let's do stuff like that. Like, I mean, we can always chill. Shit. Let's chill. And let's settle down. That's what I want to do. We can do that. We can chill and settle down. Y'all know I can't sing. But, I'm just saying. If y'all gonna chill and settle down, that's different. But all that chilling and Netflix and Hulu and goddamn Star, okay? All that, oh, let me, let's watch Power together. Let's chill as that. No, I don't have time. Go watch it yourself. Shit. We don't have time for that, all right? Like, you don't. All right? We have roll the dice. Yeah, roll the dice. All right? Now, some of you guys gave somebody a chance where there was unfinished business. But we have wedding and we have anxiety. We have third party. Mm. 
We saw this the other day. Why is a wedding card here? Why is the wedding card here? Spiritual awakening, surrender. Yep, I knew it. Because some of you guys with this energy here on family, it's like there was unfinished business here. Okay, you rolled the dice, you gave them another chance. But what you're awakening to and surrender to is surrendering to and realizes realizing is, is that this person could have had you in a third party in the past. Let's take the third party card out. Either way it goes. They could another they could have had another interest or you could. But it's just like whoever this person is, you're waking up and realizing that you don't see them as somebody that you want to marry and have a family with, or it's like you like them and you care about them, but it's like when you think about it, you're like, mm, do I see them being like a good mother or father to my children? Do I see myself marrying them? Do I see myself, you know, being with them for a lifetime? For some of you guys, this person had you in a third party. And that's what you were like stressed about with the anxiety card. If they were going to choose you or pick you or when they were going to commit to you and offer you something. Okay. When they were going to be a family with you. Now, for some of you guys, they broke up with you through text message. And snaked you, like meaning like they were being shady. And got back with the mother or the father of their child. And possibly even engaged to that person. Or got married to them. You know? So, if you have somebody who was being a snake. And was dating you. And told you that they wanted to marry you and be with you. And that child were going to have this, you know, this life, this lifestyle, this happy ever after. Could y'all see the proposal card? They play games. Y'all can't even see it. There we go. So, look, they play games. How are they going to propose to you when they're married? Or how are they going to want to marry you while they're proposed to somebody else? Okay, so a lot to think about. All right? So let that new love come in, guys. So these, uh, so I can hear about it. I want to be invited to some weddings. I want to get dressed. I got some clothes and shit that I ain't wore yet. I'm like, yes. I want to get dressed, go out, out. Like, I want to, like, I go out. But I want to go to, like, a, a wedding, like an event event for real. So, yes. Let this one come in so I can get them wedding invites. All right? Um, loving it, y'all. All right, so yes, this is what I have for you guys for today. Wednesday, December the 8th, or whenever you guys hear this reading. All righty, if I resonated, please do like, share, comment, subscribe, hit that bell. And if you guys would love to book a personal reading, fireintuition.com. All right, stay dope, fire fam. I love you guys. And I will see you guys in the next upload. Bye, loves.